what's up everybody so in this video basically we'll be talking about some a topic with vaping so this is for all um, those followers who follow me that vape um, question I get a lot is which do I prefer to use do I prefer to use my my RDA dripper or do I prefer to use a tank which one suits me best and I like using both don't get me wrong um, but I prefer to use a dripper more than anything else um, and reason being is because I'm a, I mean, besides being a cloud chaser, because I use, um, of course I sub them, um, I like flavor. I like to taste the flavor of the vape that I'm vaping on. And um, while you do get flavor out of your tank, don't get me wrong, you will, There, you get more of a flavor when you take a hit with your dripper. So uh, for me, a dripper's always worked out best. I mean, the only thing that is, I would consider to say for some people that would be a negative is the constant need to having to keep dripping so you have to continue to keep popping off the cap grabbing your bottle of e-juice such as so and dripping right onto it put a few drops and then also you're constantly building coils and having to re-wick the coils with cotton and that could be time consuming and tiresome at times but the end result is worth it It's worth it. Um, you get all that flavor. You get that good amount of uh, cloud production. So you get a pretty good vape off of it. Now you can um, you can get that with uh, the tank. You get the same with the tank, um, but the flavor is is a bit different. So it's not something that I would say would definitely be um, one that you would get like the most flavor out of, only for the simple fact that. You know the coils at times they get burned out so like the coils you put in these tanks probably uh, depending on how much you vape you can probably stretch it a month if you just very seldomly vape but if you're one that like pretty much like hits it a lot yeah you can burn these coils out pretty quickly and then also you know switching um switching juices is not really recommended with these types of tanks um for the fact that uh you know you just completely massacre the flavor so like if you have like a sweet um, type of e-juice in these tanks and then you you know you you vape it out pretty much like down dry almost and then you fill in the different flavors so like a fruity flavor or more of like um more of like a um, sour you know kind of like going like on a fruit sour side um, it just totally massacres the flavor the flavor just gets um, contaminated and so you end up with like something that you're not really looking to expect out of it so um, Good things for tanks is that you fill them up, you hit as much as you want until it's dried out and then you refill again and the refill time is a lot less with a tank than it is with a dripper obviously. You're having to pop the cap off and continuously drip just to get you know a really good flavor hit. Um, and maybe like you know depending on how you wick your coils on a dripper you could probably get maybe like six or seven good hits off of it before it starts to get dry and then you'll have to re-drip some juice on it. So. Me, preference-wise, um, dripper over a tank. Uh, tanks are good for me when I'm going to be in situations where I can't carry a lot of stuff with me, and um, you know, or I just you know don't want to be dripping, like you know, after every like six or seven hits, and have to you know, grab a bottle and start dripping back on again. Um, that's when a tank will come in handy for me. But uh, for me, I prefer uh, drippers. I just think that the flavor is better on them. So um, hopefully this is uh, this helps out some of you guys out there who's deciding whether you guys are going to get like a dripper or if you guys are going to continue to get tanks. Um, give you some insight on that. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the information I shared on this video, drop a like, subscribe if you have not, and I will talk to you on the next one. So keep vaping. Aloha.